Hey everyone! This is my second video in my Fandom Treats baking series on my channel. If you want to check out my first baking video, then I will leave a link in the description down below, and it will also be at the end of this video. I am so happy to finally be making another baking video. I have actually already filmed this video before in August of last year, but I wasn't really happy with how it turned out and then I never got in the mood to want to film the video again. And now in 2018, I have. And I am much happier with how this video turned out than the previous one I filmed. So I really hope that all of you will enjoy this video. What I made for this video are the Chronicles of Narnia, the Magician's Nephew, Green and Yellow Rings Donuts. And with the anniversary of the Magician's Nephew book coming up on May 2nd, which is today when this video is going up, I thought that this would be a perfect time to finally do this video to celebrate the anniversary of the book. If you have read The Magician's Nephew, then you would know that first two characters that you're introduced to are Diggory and Polly. And then you get introduced to Diggory's uncle, Uncle Andrew. His uncle has created two sets of green and yellow rings. The yellow ring will transport you to the wood between the worlds, and the green will send you home. That's what this video is inspired by. Of course, if you have read the book, then you know the rest of the story. And for this video, of course, I decided to wear my Narnia shirt. I originally got this shirt back in 2010, before I went to go see The Voyage of the Dawn Treader in theaters. So let's get right into making the donuts. For the donuts, you will need a Wilton donut pan or pans, a cooling rack, some paper towels, non-stick spray, two disposable pastry bags, scissors, a cup, and two spoons. For the recipe, you'll need a medium bowl, one cup of flour, six tablespoons of sugar, six tablespoons of buttermilk, one tablespoon of melted butter, one egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, green and yellow gel food coloring, a mixing spoon, and two small bowls. First, you're going to put in your dry ingredients and then your wet ingredients. Mix the flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar together. Next, put the buttermilk, melted butter, egg, and vanilla extract in and mix it until evenly combined. Cut the batter in half and put each half in the bowls. Add your food coloring as much as you want to the batter in each bowl as desired. Next, take your pastry bag and put it in the cup and fold the top over the cup. Pour in the batter, unfold the top of the pastry bag, and take it out of the cup. Set it aside. Take your donut pan, non-stick spray, and paper towel. Fold the paper towel, spray the pan. Using the paper towel, spread the spray by swirling it around as shown. Then take your pastry bag with the batter, twist the top, you can tie it with a rubber band to make it easier and cut the tip of the bag. Pipe the batter into the pan. Shake the pan up and down a little to make the batter even out. Preheat the oven to 325 for 5 minutes and then put them in for 10 minutes. While the donuts are in the oven, it's time to make the glaze. Set out two small glass bowls. Put one half cup of powdered sugar, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of water, and food coloring in each bowl. If your glaze is too thin, then add one fourth cup of powdered sugar to it. Let your donuts cool for at least 5 to 8 minutes. Once they are, carefully take them out of the pan with your fingers. Get some wax paper or paper towel and lay it out on the surface. Put the cooling rack on top of it. Take a donut, 
turn it upside down into the glaze and dunk it halfway submerged. Then put the donut on the cooling rack to let the icing drip off. Do this to the rest of them. After that, you're done. Eat and enjoy. So that's the video. I really, really, really hope all of you enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed making this video and it made me miss how much I really want to make more baking videos and I'm planning on making more soon. If you do end up making these then please tweet me pictures of them and if you post them on Instagram then please tag me. Both of my Twitter and my Instagram accounts are at SarahTheFangirl7. There will be a link to it in the description down below. I would love to see how you made them or if you ended up loving this recipe if, when you actually end up trying it because I have made this recipe so many times and I personally love the recipe and my family does too. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more baking videos from me then, then please like this video and subscribe for more. Also, I have created a Instagram baking account which is called Sarah's Sweet Collection and if you type in at SS sweet collection on Instagram then you will be able to find it. If you want to see every baking creation that I have made and more to come in the future then you can follow that. So I think that's it. I hope you have an amazing day. I love you all so much and look out for my next video which will be coming out sometime soon. For real this time. Bye everyone!